All right, Brush Monkeys, we're back, and this week we're painting the Spirit of Autumn from Reaper Bones. Uh, this was sculpted by Julie Guthrie. Um, I had to snap this up because Julie Guthrie is one of my favorite sculptors, so always has been uh, from way back in the Grenadier Route Partha days. And uh, this little Spirit of Autumn looks really nice. It's a, a nice sculpt. Um, I'm kind of thinking about doing another Four Seasons set, but I'm not sure... Um, what spring and summer are going to be. Um, obviously I've got Spirit of Autumn here. I've got a wizard named Vodellus Winterhand, so that's going to be winter. Um, but that'll be down the line. I'm not going to do them all back to back like I did last time. Um, but yeah, this one's going to be a fairly quick paint because it's going to be mostly contrast paints. I've got uh, Fire Slayer Flesh for the skin, and of course the rose pink for her lips. Um, Flesh Terror is red and Astrath red for her hair. Uh, Gore Grunta excuse me, Gorgrindifer, um, Griffhound Orange, uh, for this tunic that she's wearing, this upper robe, and then her dress is going to be, uh, Blood Angels Red, this little sleeve right here, uh, her sleeves are going to be, um, I end in yellow, the basket is going to be Gorgrindifer, if I can keep that on camera for Pete's sake, um, I've got red, yellows, orange, and green for the leaves for the fruits in her basket here, and then um, basic dirt for the ground and then I'm going to be using instead of dry brushing this I'm going to be using uh, some autumn flock some like reds and yellows uh, but like model railroad flock on the base so that's going to be kind of interesting um, uh, I, I kind of wish I'd remembered I was planning on doing that before I dropped the um, texture paint on there because I really needed that to be kind of flat so it'll be interesting to see how that works on this. Um, I kind of did it in part of a batch, and that's why she got the texture paint. But uh, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and pause here and base all of her skin with the uh, Wraith Bone and uh, do the Fire Slayer Flesh, and then we'll come back and see how she's looking so far. All right, see you soon. Bye. All right, Brush Monkeys, we're back, and we made some uh, progress here. Got her skin done, got the hair based at least and got the under tunic painted the I end in yellow also decided to do the under under dress there and I end in yellow as well I um, also did something I don't normally do I painted I based the eyes um, they were really prominently sculpted so I yeah my camera's not gonna go in that far they were really prominently sculpted so I decided to go ahead and, and uh, dot the eyes at least and kind of give her that sort of ethereal uh, look to her um, I just realized I missed a little spot on her hair here so there we go okay so um the next thing up is to do her uh, over tunic here which is going to be orange. Uh, that's the uh, Griff Charger, not Griff Charger, uh, what is this? Griff Hound Orange. They've got Griff Hound Orange and Griff Charger Gray. You think they've got too much Griffs that are two different colors. And then this underdress here, or the dress, is going to be Blood Angels Red, so it'll be a little bit brighter than her hair. And her hair, I'm going to, once it dries, I'm going to dry brush it with Astrath Red, so that'll bring out a little bit of the highlights as well. So. I'm going to go ahead and pause here and do her under tunic, or her, do, her tunic, excuse me, and then uh, we'll come back when I've made some more progress. All right, see you soon. Bye. All right, kind of got caught up on our girl here. I made a lot more progress than I intended to. Um, I meant to just do the the over tunic. You can see the orange there. It looks really nice. That's that Griffhound orange. That looks really spectacular on there. I think it's really a good, good touch. I also did the Blood Angels Red on there so, and the Astrath Red Dry Brush. So it's kind of hard to see a difference on camera between the the um, Flesh Terrors Red with the Astrath Red Dry Brush and the Blood Angels Red. This is quite a bit darker than this. Um, even with the highlights, it's still, the highlights are still darker. Than, so all we got left to do is the basket, and I've got the um, Gore Grunt of Fur for that, so it's going to be kind of a reddish brown. 
and then the fruit in the basket which the only thing I can really pick out is this pumpkin and then I think these are apples so that's gonna be orange those are gonna be red and then this little chunk down here looks like it's kind of greenish fur maybe or greenish leaves maybe some yellow I don't know um, also I haven't quite been able to distinguish whether or not it looks like she's got some leaves in her hair too so I may go ahead and pick those out in orange as well um, just to have something a little different on there I mean, a little yellow in her hair um, but yeah the, the leaves and stuff on the basket are gonna be green and then uh, the base like I said is gonna be Reaper Master Series basic dirt and then I'm gonna put some uh, red and yellow flocking on it so kind of tie the whole thing in together so I'm gonna pause and let those uh, let that um, bread dry and then we'll come back and make some more progress on it all right see you soon bye all right I made some more progress on the spirit of autumn here um, as you can see I went over the I decided those probably wore leaves in her hair so and having based them in wraith bone uh, yeah they're definitely leaves so I went ahead and painted those with I end in yellow um, they look a little orange there because there was a little bit of uh, red still on the brush uh, hadn't quite cleaned it off but that's okay I'm gonna go over those with the light dry brush of uh, Hexios Pale Sun and that'll bring out the yellow a little bit more uh, also painted the fruit in the basket uh, you can see I've got all that it all looks a little bit bright right now um, but I've got the washes out I'm gonna do uh, Fuegan Orange on the pumpkin I'm gonna do Drinky Violet on the grapes and I've got uh, Carabourg Crimson for the um, for the apples and then finally clearly a green shade for the um, for the little leaves that are right there in the stem of the pumpkin so I'm going to give those a few moments to finish drying and then we'll uh, get into those get into shade washing those and I'll just tone them down a little bit make them give them a little more depth but yeah she's coming along pretty nicely I really like how she looks so, see you in a bit. Bye. Alright, so I got the fruit basket all shade washed up and it's looking quite a bit better. Got some depth to it. Looks good. I also got the leaves in her hair dry brushed with the Hexios Pale Sun. Gives a nice little yellow edge to all those orange leaves. And they look really good. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy with how she's coming out. So the only thing I got left to do is paint the base. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then I'll take a break, let it dry, and then when we come back, we'll take one last look at her before we um, put the flocking on the base, because I'm a little worried how that's going to come out with the texture that's already on there. So, yeah, so I'll see you soon. Bye. All right, and here is our finished Spirit of Autumn. Things came out really nice. I decided to paint the uh, base band in uh, Vallejo model color, excuse me, Vallejo game color, uh, scarlet red. It's like a very dark red. It's uh, basically an equivalent to um, Citadel's uh, uh, corn red. And I thought that would fit the overall red, orange, and yellow autumn color scheme better than just having a plain brown base band um, the flocking seems to have stuck fairly well to the base you can see that it's a kind of autumn flocking looks like leaves on the ground I'm really happy with how that came out and of course I'm really happy with how the figure came out I think she looks gorgeous um, I'm pretty happy with it so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and call this done and wrap this video up Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next week. Bye. Hey, Boris Monkeys, Tom from Flying Monkey Studios here. If you like what you see, click like down below. Um, if you want to be notified when new videos come out, click subscribe. And 
in the meantime if you want to see how to add one of the miniatures that we've painted on this channel to your own collection check out our Instagram uh, tumblr and uh, patreon sites uh, if you want to support support us in doing what we do check out my patreon site check out my uh, merch store at storefrontier.com slash fly monkey studios you can get t-shirts sweatshirts uh, long sleeve shirts hoodies all kinds of stuff there um, go check that out and uh, in the meantime thanks for watching and I will see you next week bye